Hello and welcome to Island Restorations and in today's episode we're going to test out a cool piece of tech we've got on this classic car. And it is so cool, we're using it to test the cooling system of this classic MGB. That's cool. We have been given a thermal imaging camera by Top Don, Hold on. and it is one amazing bit of kit. And it's only this big. It's only this it's big. It's so tinny. Now, my MGB, okay, I am actually not sure if the thermostat's working properly, so this couldn't have come at a better time, because this is a non-invasive way of testing that. Yeah, we can, um, we can, well, it's, it's not been started yet, actually. Me and Laura just worked our legs to the <laughs> ground, pushing it over a slight incline of gravel yeah. to get it down into the shed cold so we can do a cold start and watch the entire engine block come up to temperature in thermal engine which I think is going to be epic. Not only is that going to be cool but it's going to be amazing to see the water system working around the radiator. That's going to be cool too. Yeah, we'll be, or maybe warm. Or warm. We'll be able to tell. <laughs> but we'll be able to see if the thermostat opens up without actually having to take the thing apart and put it in a bucket of hot water and see if it moves because that is such a faff. If you're going to open it just replace it anyway. But We'll be able to see if all the fins are clear as well. No crud in all the, you know, if there's any yeah, cold spots the on the radiator. radiator. working properly. The uh, first thing we need to do, and I'm sorry if there's too much background noise, by the way, the mm. workshop heater is on. Um, first thing we need to do is to make sure there's enough electricity in the car to turn it over. So let's turn the battery on. Open it's the never bonnet. not started for me. This could be a first. This could be a first. Too. So it's, let's see if it, it starts. It was quite cold outside it, today, It's freezing today. The car is still cold. This is as it comes to us. It's called the... TC 001. 001? It is. The first of the bonds. <laughs> so that's really nice packaging it comes in anyway. So it's, it is because it's a proper cool piece of kit. I Bit love of, the fact that it comes in a protective hard case, you know, because that's going to be so well, handy for yeah, the workshop. I mean, not only does it come in a nice box, it comes in a nice case too. Yeah. And this is the. Uh, so. That's the gadget there. You've got also, it's got like a, a pouch in there as well, and it comes with a lead to plug it into computers, I do believe. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get the. But the best feature about this is it connects to any Android phone with a USB C port. So all you need is the app, away you go. You plug it yeah. in, you, it, it's fantastic. So get your mobile device and your TC001, and right, the camera ideally facing away. Just plug it in and it automatically opens the app for you. Press the thermal imaging and there we are. You can see instantly that the box <laughs> is nice and warm because I've was been i been playing with it. And you can see how cold the car is. Let me pull this back Look how, Look cold, how the cold the car is. Look how cold the car is. Stay there. Look how cold the car is, but look. Good trick, watch this. Oh yeah, look. do that. You ready? Yeah. Look how sensitive it is. This is so, it's, it's so good. It's such a cool bit of kit. It really will pick up any difference in um, straight away. It's you can fantastic. also, when you press the camera mode, uh, you can either take pictures or you can film, which I think is cool. So that's what's gonna enable us to film. What's happening today. What's happening today. So we just press the film record button and it, we can set our tripod and just leave it. Let's just get into it. Set this up on the tripod. Let's give the car a start and see if we can start seeing things yeah. moving. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, Lewis has set up the thermal imaging camera here. He's watching that, filming it for you. I'm going to attempt to start the car. Fingers crossed she starts. She hasn't been started for a few months. No, we have, um, we have piped the exhaust out the building. Yeah, we are not going to be gassing ourselves in the workshop. Right, we're going to go freehand for the start, so you can see what's going on. I hope it's not too shaky for you. This should be all right. Okay, we have, I can see we've got power because the lights are on. Choke is on, electric's on, fuel pump. Right, crank it. <laughs> low on battery.
we started, it was all yellow around the outside of the pitcher. Now it's all flipped around because the engine is now hotter than the surrounding the area, areas, so yeah. the colours change. It's, it's adaptive. Yeah. So we can have a look at the pipe. Let's have a look. So we're going to go to interior. No, interior on interior. Right. We're going to put it onto interior, and we're going to go to hot. Turn the fans on. Let's have a look at the pipes. Can you see any hot water going through those pipes? Oh, the top pipe's getting hot? That got hot really bad. So that's been flowing down through this flat Yeah. Um, it actually flows through this valve on this side of the engine here. That's what opens and closes for the hot water system. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, look at it go. Oh, that's a brilliant way to check your heater matrices as well. Yeah. Excellent oh, stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. It is so cool. Have a look underneath. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> the exhaust is blowing! Oh, that's fun! Oh, that's cool! Very cool. You can see the gases coming out. Oh, you can see the gases! Wow! Look from underneath and me. Yeah. That's so cool. That is cool. Alright. And then let's have a look inside. Oh look, you can see the heat that's actually heating up the top there. Oh look at that! And the windscreen. Fantastic. Your light bulb is it's not hot. very energy efficient. No, we need to change that to LED. But look at this under here. That's the whole engine heating up the bulkhead. It's the gearbox, yeah. You, you get a lot of heat from the gearbox tunnel in an MG. So there's the heater matrix that's being piped up and it's actually heating the window. You can see it heating. How interesting. Oh, this is very good. Very good. 
Right, I say we kill the engine now. Yeah. We've seen that everything's working. Just one more shot of the engine nice and warm. That has completely changed. You see? Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, let's kill it. Yeah, that's not run on. Ignore that. Let's ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> it needs a bit of a tune, it I does think. Need a bit of a tune. Might have to go down to see Tim. Maybe he'd have to have a visit. Tim at Cambrian Classics. He's a he's a the MG man around here. He's the MG man around here, and he's a carburetor expert. But I am super happy with that. Okay. Really confident that the cooling system's working properly. Look at, look at that. Look I mean, at it. This is such a useful bit of cool tech. It I is mean, so useful. To know that the, the heater matrix is working properly, yeah. is flowing properly, and the oil cooler is actually flowing properly as well, because that's blowing. Brilliant. Um, you could use this to check if the brakes are binding, you could use it to check if um, you've got any leaks, because you can see the gases coming out of the exhaust. Yeah. You could check for leaks. Uh, there's so many things you could use this for. It, it, uh, it I'm is, just really impressed. Really impressed. I'm super impressed with yeah. it. Cool kit um, in such a convenient, tiny little package. Yeah. And just clicks to your phone, but it's USB-C and the app is super easy. Super it's, easy. It's so easy to use. Plug and play. Plug yeah. and play. But um, we're going to be using this on the Volvo to check that the cooling system's working on that as well because we're not sure on that. Um, we've got so many other things to use it around the workshop. Yeah, yeah, the Volvo, the Volvo definitely the Volvo because yeah. the Volvo's going to have a nice big service before it hits the road mm -hmm. and it'll be really nice to check the cooling system. Plus, we'll be throwing the mm. viscous fan as far as we can. Getting rid of that, putting put an, electric, an electric, fan. electric fan in it. Also, um, checking panel temperatures before we paint. Checking panel temperatures before you paint. Yeah. Um, finding leaks for heat sources <laughs> winter in the workshop. So finding all the leaks for the heat to, to He's the already building. been doing that. <laughs> I've already been doing that. There's plenty around. Looking um, for energy saving. We do have a workshop heater. Yes. And man, it does make a huge difference in the depths of winter. You can hear it ticking away in the background. Yeah. Um, we need it though. We need it. We need it. it. Depths of Wales freezing. Especially on painting days. Mm -hmm. um, plus, it makes it just so much nicer to be in it when it's warm, isn't it? You don't want to be cold. No, you don't want to be cold. But Brandy's been out, she has been run, everything's working, she's ready to go back away again. <laughs> Poor car. Poor car, she needs some TLC. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us for this little midweek video. Um, yeah. You'll be expecting a few more of these going forward. That was fun. It was that. fun. That was cool. It was fun. Um, See you at the weekend for the next Volvo instalment. Yes, yes. Um, this is first. Is it first? This is the first, first of many. Hopefully, one a week. Um, Midweek video logs. Video vlogs. Vlogs, babes. Vlogs. You got to be with, down with the kids. It's I'm vlogs kids. now. <laughs> what next? I'll be eating Y foods. <laughs> anyway, next week. <laughs> video log as well we'll uh, just a bit of a workshop update and tell you what we're getting up to check around yeah, yeah. tell you what we're getting up to during the week again don't That'll forget to subscribe and see you next time don't eat yellow snow don't eat yellow snow ciao ciao big big tips there babe big tips